and we've got a butthole right here. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, well today we are back at a shop that we have not been to in at least a year. It's been probably an entire year. And the only reason for that is because we don't come this way very often. Uh, and it's literally 20 minutes down the road for me. So there really are no excuses. We are at the Salvation Army today. You guys don't see me come to the Salvation Army very often. We do have some close by. The other one, I just never find anything. This one, I just don't typically come this way. I don't know why. Uh, we're gonna head in here, see what we can find. About six months ago, they shared one of my videos that I had filmed in here, and they were like, oh, the crazy lamp lady was here. She's welcome back anytime. So it was six months ago. I'm welcome back anytime. Here I am. We're gonna go in, see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Now this is kind of, this store is a little bit on the smaller side. I don't expect to get an entire video here. So from here, we're heading over to one of my favorite antique shops, uh, Bedford Street Antiques, which is just down the road. We're gonna go there next. Um, I've just, I've got a hankering to look at some quilts and they always have a good quilt selection over there for pretty good prices. So we're gonna head down there next. Maybe check out some of the textiles. It's it's getting cold and dreary and rainy. You can see it's rainy today and I just today felt like a quilt day. So we're gonna go check out the quilts there. Um, but let's head in here, see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. Goodness. Why is it every time I find this it has a chip on it? I wish I knew the answer. much of a selection in the lamp department. Mm. Hi there. Okay, so that was it. That was uh, the Salvation Army. It's kind of why I don't go there very often. However, John goes there every single day. You know John. Uh, John goes there every single day for his lunch break and he does come away with some treasure. But anyway, we're gonna head down the road now. We're gonna go find Bedford Street Antiques and we're gonna go find some treasures. We're probably gonna spend a little bit more on them because it is an antique shop, but there are always gems to be found. And we also have an opportunity to talk about other things that are there that maybe we price a little high so that we can't buy them, but then you'll know what to recognize when you're out at the thrift stores or other places where you can source. So it's kind of like, that's why I like going to antique shops. So anyway, let's go see what we can find. Here we go. Okay, we made it to Bedford and I forgot to mention, in case you were wondering where Andrew is, Andrew is about two hours away at an auction. And I just spoke with him He's packing up the car. The key question was, how much did you spend? 700 and yada yada da. You spent what? Oh my gosh. So um, we're gonna kind of limit our spending today, seeing as how Andrew is two hours away spending $700 in an auction. Whatever he bought today, he did not bring a camera with him. So we do not have footage of that, but we will include it in the haul video that we do for whatever we buy today. Um, he did send a few items, he was taking video. He's like, is any of this good? And I was circling the items and saying, get that and get, get that and get. So um, I, I don't even know what he was, $700. I don't, I don't know what to expect. That's a lot of money. You know, when he goes to the flea market and he buys stuff from Eric, 
It's like, oh, 200 here, 200 there, $700. Let's go into Bedford and see if we can find some quilts that are worth $700 to cover that cost. Here we go. Okay, now of all the antique shops in the area, this is one of my favorite antique shops. I love the stuff here, I love the people. It's great. Look, this is the piece I was talking about, and if you haven't been on my channel very long, you wouldn't have known about this, but those of you who have been watching for a while probably remember this. This is the console set I was talking about in a video, a couple of videos ago. You know, we got this console bowl. This is the complete set with the naked lady. I'm gonna get demonetized for that. It's a beautiful set. They're asking 135. It's always just been a little too much for my taste. But it's Royal Hager. It's fantastic. It really is. I love it. Okay, so Sue and I always admire the rose medallion in this booth. However, it's always just a little bit high. That bowl right there is $210. Way too much for a resale and, I don't know, maybe collector's prices. Sue seemed to think they were a little high. Um, this ducky caught my eye because I'm always looking for art glass for Ashton, at least the figurines, you know. But then I kind of looked over here and you can see I've already been in here because my coffee's sitting right there. But check this out. Got that pretty bowl. And then over here we've got another pretty bowl. Oh my gosh, are we obsessed with pretty bowls yet? Because there's another one over there that looks like one we just recently bought. That one's 35 though. And over here, this one I really like. I didn't see the price on that one yet though. That one's 35. And I think this one's actually my favorite of all the bowls. I wonder if there's any sort of discount in here. I don't think I've ever seen a discount in this booth. And I mean, the last antique shop we went to, I was willing to pay $20 for the Murano art glass. I don't know if I'm willing to push that to 30. I don't know if they'd be willing to take a discount and take 20 per bowl if I was to buy like three of them. I guess there's no harm in asking. I were to pick three. Oh wait, there's another one over there that's really, really pretty. How do, oh, there's more. Oh, there's lots more, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Look at that. And this one up here. My gosh, Mary must be watching this and absolutely dying. <laughs> She's got some really amazing Murano art glass pieces in her uh, in her eBay shop. I'm gonna put a link to that down below. You can go check it out. She is my go-to for all the Murano glass. She she knows her Murano glass and it's only um, only fair that I, I give her uh, her shop a plug here in this video. So I'm gonna put a link to that down below, but I might have to send her pictures of these. Mary, is this Murano? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can make a deal. Okay, so what I've done is I've set out five bowls here and I'm offering the dealer $100 for the five. I don't know if he's gonna take it. I was told that he doesn't usually make deals, but you know, it's always worth asking. I had picked out this bowl, but upon closer inspection, noticed that there is a chip. So unfortunately, I set that one aside and put in this amber bowl, which, you know, amber's more common but it's a, bit, a little bit larger than the last one we had picked. So, eh, we'll put it in there. It's that Submerso, it's the, the layered colors. It's got the amber clear, and then it's just a kind of, a, a little bit lighter clear. So, we'll see what he says. This piece is still here. I come to find it every time I visit. <laughs> And it's still $150. I don't know, I think I'm just like waiting and hoping it's gonna go on sale. I absolutely love it. I love that. I've got some quilts back here. But those aren't the quilts we're looking for. Oh, look at the Scotty dog quilt. That's cute. I'm afraid to look at the price though. I feel like it'll be high, but I know a lot of you are like, what's it worth? What's the price? I will tell you. $15. Oh, it's only $15. Oh, all right, we're gonna spread it out. <laughs> a 
Okay, now I do love it, but it is machine made. It's like clearly machine stitched. It's not really something I typically go for. It's only $15. But as I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to be a little bit more selective today. And there is damage to this quilt. You can see here there's holes. I can actually stick my fingers through. And we've got a butthole right here. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> we're going to throw it back is basically what I'm saying. We're going to keep going. Okay, well I found a figurine. And what I like about this figurine is the weight. It's got some weight to it. It's unique. You know, but it's not that cheap ceramic. It's actually pottery. Um, it's five dollars, twenty percent off. So I think we're gonna grab it. It's an Airedale Terrier. No marks, but I like it. So this is our first item of the day, and it's only five dollars, twenty percent off. Not bad. All right, now here's a lesson in: we need to be a little bit more cautious when we're at the antique shop. This set right here is $50 on sale, which I thought, oh my gosh, that's a great deal because our peanut dish, that was just the dish, I think sold for $40 to $50, and that's what they typically sell for. And I thought, well, this is the master dish and all the little nut dishes, but they typically only sell for $30. So I almost grabbed this, and I'm so glad I looked up comps. At the flea market, this would have been three bucks. I would have grabbed it without, <laughs> without question. I need to be more careful. I'm so accustomed to the flea market these days. Those little glass animals are adorbs. All right, let's go this way. Okay, well now we've moved onto the second floor. This is where we have a tendency to have the best luck, which is good because this is really all we've gotten on the first floor. Um, I've been thinking about those Murano dishes and he was only willing to come down to 25.50 each and I don't think that's enough for me to make enough money. So I think I'm gonna pass on the Murano dishes. Even though I'm absolutely in love with them, um, I would have been comfortable at 20, but I just can't go any higher than that. So um, this is all we've got. We're gonna have to do better than this. Hopefully we find some quilts when we get there. We're gonna do the rest of it first, so here we go. What do we have here? I think I like that. And I think that says Hager. That's a Hager? Let's get a little closer. I think it does. It does say Hager. Goodness gracious, what is? what are the chances? What are the chances that we find that? I think we need it. Okay, I'm having just this serious Royal Hager overload right now. We've got this piece, which is a pitcher, Royal Hager pitcher. And then down here, we've got a Royal Hager planter. Now, she's kind of a matte glaze, and she's got a, f she's kind of dirty. But they only want $9, and I'm wondering if a magic eraser would take some of that dirt off. Uh, so I'm gonna take her with me. I don't know about the giant pitcher. I feel like, oh my gosh, this made me so nervous. Um, yeah, I don't know about the giant pitcher. I think we're gonna leave that because it's not very unique. It's not a unique piece, but the planters, the planters will, uh, will, will grab. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. I'm digging this. Leaf plate. I wonder what he's got on that. 19 for the leaf plate. Set this down here. Check out that. These old Majolica pieces often have condition issues. This one's got a crack. But it's not, like, terrible. I just, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen it with that blue. It's kind of, uh... Kind of throwing me off. The, it's very colorful. I don't know if I'm going to do it for 19. Put that one back for 19. Okay. 
All right, so let's go check out this little booth. Those shoes are so cute, but they're way too small for Juliet's feet. Paul has a tendency to tuck things into spaces like this. Oh, there's, I can see from here it's broken, so I'm not gonna reach for it. But I do like that. If it wasn't broken, I would probably take it. And this is a fun purse, too. Mondo. Hmm, it's a vintage purse. I don't see a price on it, though. No price. I think that means it's free, right? Isn't that how it usually works? Just kidding, that was a joke. But I'm seriously not seeing a price on it, so I don't know. And it's got $8 on it. I don't know, I feel like I could probably get 15 to 20 for that, so. I don't know if it's really worth it to me. There's some nice pieces here. I mean, they're, they're all little, little pieces. But, uh, there's some nice pieces. Alright, let's keep going. We're almost to the quilts. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs> 